we have found the largest shares here at the uh, LA Convention Center uh, to sit down and have a chat about Gravity Rush 2. And first of all, uh, Gravity Rush was a great game, came out on PS Vita a few years back. Um, when, when looking to make a sequel, what, what was the first thing that came to your mind and what did you want to do? Uh, so, so basically, there, there's a lot. Um, bigger, bigger and better, I guess, uh, would, would summarize it pretty quickly. But um, they wanted to make the action, you know, just much more impactful. Um, and to that end, they've added the three, uh, the new gravity styles to the game. So action's really going to be pumped up. Um, they wanted to present a brand new city and a big new area. So, you know, more volume in that respect uh, was definitely top of mind when they were creating Gravity Rush 2. Speaking of those, those gravity modes, it seems like it adds a lot more dynamic uh, elements to the, to, the, to the comic. Can you tell us a little bit how it works and how it's been designed? So speaking about the two styles, um, there's lunar style and there's Jupiter style. Uh, lunar style is much more light gravity, so if you think about just kind of how the moon, how gravity works on the moon, you're going to be able to dodge a lot of things. If enemies attack you, you'll be able to get out of the way really quickly and, um, and do some very uh, you know quick movements with the lunar style. It's, it's really good for getting away from enemies as well. Uh, Jupiter style, on the other hand, is much more heavier, so it's going to be harder to control Cat a little bit when she's using it, but her power is going to go up tremendously. So when you're attacking enemies, especially big enemies or, or you're doing crowd control type things, it's really going to be useful to take out a lot of enemies at once. So that's kind of how uh, the two styles work. Speaking of, of Kat, uh, what, how would you describe her as a character and, and how is, is she changed in any way for Gravity Rush 2 and for people who are familiar with her? Um, so she's still the, the lovable, bright uh, cat that you know and love, always very energetic and uh, very positive. So from that respect, you know, this is the same character that we're coming back to. Um, however, at the beginning of Gravity Rush 2, um, she kind of experiences a thing where she gets separated from Dusty, her, her cat, and she's going to have to kind of rebuild everything she's had, you know, from, from zero. Uh, so, you know, she was the hero in the first game, she saved Hexaville. Um, now she has to start all over. She's actually in a mining town at the beginning of this new game. And she she has to kind of get her powers back and and uh, and kind of grow from that beginning point, you know, over again. Um, but you know, when you play the game, you'll you'll see it's uh, it's the same same kitten you know and love. Uh, speaking of that, that sort of relationship between uh, an owner and a pet is that something that you're pulling from personally, or what? What's the significance of that? And in, in uh, so he's uh, he's owned a cat before, uh, um, definitely, well, but yeah, don't really think of uh, as and of cat and Dusty as like an owner and you know pet relationship. Um, Dusty is kind of the source of, of cat's gravity powers, um, so she's kind of there, like sticking along, you know, helping her out. Um, say more of almost more of a partnership than it is, you know, an owner and uh, you know and a and a pet. Um, but yeah, definitely a little bit of uh, personal experiences in there. Um, but you'll you'll find it a lot more when you play through the game. Was it always uh, meant to come to PS4 or, or were there uh, any thoughts of, of, of PS Vita in the early stages of development? So we were only really did able to tell the first, you know, kind of half of the story in the original Gravity Rush. Um, so, you know, certainly the platform was considered uh, at the beginning, but as soon as they started playing around with PS4 and seeing just how much more of the gravity action and how much more they could do with the system, it became clear that that's where they wanted to continue Cat's story and just bring a, a much bigger, more involved experience to, to fans. So that's why they, they went with PS4 and that's kind of the, the story behind it. Something that I think would be kind of crazy would be to have Gravity Rush with uh, PSVR. Is that, is, has that thought entered your mind? Speaking very personally, um, actually tested around with a, a few Gravity Rush things in, in VR. Um, you know, he, he would like to do something with it. You know, we're not officially doing anything in Gravity Rush 2 uh, with VR, but you know, actually being able to stand on the side of buildings or upside down is a pr pretty uh, a pretty interesting experience. Um, you know, from a, from his point of view. So um, so definitely something that uh, that you know they keep in mind if people really want to see it. You know, like. Please feel free to make your voices heard, but you know, for the sake of Gravity Rush 2, not really supporting any kind of like you know native VR modes, but uh, it's definitely something that they were toying around with and you know and considering when they were making the game. Um, just to to let us know, wh where where are you at with the development of the game right now, and and how's it shaping up? 
basically uh, the, the, the main part of the whole game if everything's in there right now we're actually just brushing things up and everything's going incredibly smoothly um, if, if you play the the demo that's here at e3 you'll see everything's like coming together really well so we hope people are looking forward to it and uh, it's going really well so you'll have it soon thank you so much for your time thank you